Good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning, and I'm trying for the first time these flapjacked protein pancakes. grams of protein in each serving so just like a half a cup of the batter so hopefully they taste good just trying to get out all the clumps while my pen heats up okay so it says to have it at low heat but I don't know it does not seem good enough whatever let's try now see I don't even hear a sizzle Okay, these ones are getting better because there's, I can hear it sizzling. I can see some bubbles. I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a small plate for me. Just so that the pancakes look huge and I think I'm eating a huge portion. Too thick. They went like that, they weren't that thick. Pour a little bit in it. I did that. It's still too thick. They went to, they, right, they rose. What the heck? They're protein pancakes, what you want? It's not like milk. Jim's criticizing me because pancakes are the one dish he can make. So even though I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day for him and he cannot cook, he thinks he can come here and master chef me? He can chef Ramsay me? Are you kidding me? It looks disgusting! It's inedible! Inedible! Oh, look at that! Sorry, my Miranda Sings came out. Oh. They're burnt, but they look exciting. Not burnt, they're just nice and golden. These are mine, dibs. Okay, I took an Instagram picture, but I forgot to show you how they looked on camera before I tried them. What did you think, Jim? They were, uh, they were actually good. Um, they're not like your regular pancakes, but definitely. If you're craving pancakes and you still want to be somewhat healthy and get at this least some protein, yeah. Because, I mean, this is a lot of protein. Yeah. But they do kind of taste like. Like, they don't taste the same as regular pancakes. No, no. There's, uh, I, I want to say starchy, but that, no. I don't think that's the word. You're thinking, like, dry or chalky, like... Yes, but that's because of the protein Because it's right? protein, yeah, because yeah. of the yeah. whey. And obviously, if you, you know, if you're on a diet and you don't want to have too many carbs, you want to consume more protein, this is a good alternative. But honestly, I don't like it. i rather just have... Yeah, protein shake and but you don't like pancakes in general i guess maybe <laughs> bless you hey guys so now we're out and about um it's such a gloomy saturday but at least it's not raining finally because it's been raining all week long um 
we're just doing some errands and picking up some things and hopefully we can go and see our new niece very soon I'm excited to meet her um, yeah that's it and I'm also I may go and meet a follower who I've been chatting with um, on Instagram for a while and she owns Pilata Jewelers in Woodbridge so she said stop by I'd love to meet you so I'm gonna go and hopefully she's there and yeah I think that's it and then maybe some date night later if I get this guy in a good mood gloomy weather makes for gloomy gem are you gloomy why I was just joking are you really? A little. Mm. Weather! I hate, I hate the clouds. They're bold. I, I, I actually like gloomy weather. I like rain. I like clouds. I like crisp fall days. I love it. Yeah, I, I like the rain too, but like a good, good rain. Not those little like driplets, sideways, slashing your face off type of rain. And that's what we've been getting all week. Not interested. Slashing your face off. Okay, we're here. I'm so nervous to meet her. I'm gonna go in and see her now. Hey guys, this is my friend Susan. We met on, well, Susan's my mom's name. That's why I like, I Oh remember. my gosh, yeah, really? Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> that's why, well, anybody who's named Susan, I found is like the sweetest and it's so true. So I came to meet her today because she has a jewelry store in uh, Woodbridge called Pilata Jewelers. And we always drive by here. It's like highway, right on Highway 7 in Weston Road. So I'm like, I'm gonna go and meet her. And I was actually nervous. And it was actually my pleasure. I was so happy that I'm she glad, came. <laughs> I'm glad you were here today. I was like, and I was nervous. To, I'm always nervous to meet like followers because I'm always worried that, am I gonna be the way you guys well, I'll tell you one thing. You inspired me big time. Thank you so much. That's well. <laughs> You're beautiful. And so, yeah, so we're here at her store. Um, I met her, her family. It's like a family-owned business. Been around for so many years, and there's just so many beautiful things. Like, I'm a kid in a candy store right now. Seriously. Jim? Get your pocketbook ready. It's ready. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. There's like so much sparkle, like I can get lost in it. Um, I'll take one of those and no, one of those and one of those. No, you don't want this one here? Okay. <laughs> sure. Everything's so beautiful. I want it all. Sometimes when I walk by these cases, it rumbles. Oh, look, mirror, outfit of the day. <laughs> it's so nice. I'm like sweating. Jim was like looking at this thing. He's like, oh yeah. Bling Central. Jim better be discussing diamonds. Are you discussing diamonds? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Always. And the deals that come with them. <laughs> yes, she, you, you, what did you say, you were a wholesaler? A diamond wholesaler. Yeah, so like really, really good prices. Well, we do our best. <laughs> <laughs> We've come here a few times because I've been dying to meet her. Um, but they're closed Sunday and Monday. Uh, so today, finally Saturday, we're, we were in the area and we're like, let's pop in. Because we drive by here all the time. Like, yeah. how can you not, right? Yeah. So any other followers, I should do a meetup. You guys, some of you guys have been saying do a meetup and I should actually really do it. So. Thank you, Jen. Again. <laughs> I'm so excited that I met you. They also have like a boutique downstairs and she was saying that she wanted to do a giveaway. Like pick a piece to uh, give away to one of you guys. So let's look for a nice piece. Oh my God, so much to choose from. Isn't that so beautiful? I think this is it. Jim loves this one and I'm pretty sold on it too. I'm gonna look around, but I think this is the winner. If you want to um, enter to win it, just head over to my Instagram and I'll put the details there. So nice. So I am going with this bracelet and Susan gave me one as well. I'm so excited. This is so my style, look. This is my style and look at that. Like exactly, it totally fits my style. I hope you guys like this one. Um, and you'll be able to win one of them as well. So Jim and I are like looking for something 
like a cute little thing to greet our niece with. Um, I love stuffed animals, but is that overdone? Oh. I think you have the cutest choices. So we're getting a little lamb, because first of all, how cute is that? But also because Greeks love lamb. <laughs> love to eat it. And then it's for Jim's brother's birthday, an add-on gift. He's obsessed with Star Wars and obsessed with Saber barbecuing. every bite, get it? That's cute. Okay, sold. You're not helping me, man. <laughs> like, work with me. Like, stop being such a fight. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. This is a better shot. Ah! Just like daddy. Just like daddy, I got to Just like daddy. He's daddy out of he looks. She looks so much bigger when she's all sprawled oh. out rather than Oh swaddle. my god, you're so cute. Man. Your belly button looks so weird. What yeah, is that? Yeah, I know cord, I know. Look, she's like, I need a boob. Yeah. ASAP. Oh my god, she's fully awake now. He's awake. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Let me hear your whines. Let's come. Whine. Let me hear your cry. I know, Jim's scary, I know. Oh my god. Hey guys, so we just got home. Um, I didn't even vlog after we left Jim's brother's house. I don't know why. I didn't even bring my camera into their house because I wasn't sure if they'd be comfortable with me um, filming their baby and I didn't even tell you guys her name because I wasn't sure what they were comfortable with but they said that they were so I'm happy uh, to share with you how cute she is and her name is Electra. She's a really really good baby like she's very relaxed and mellow. Jim was holding her and we needed to wake her up uh, to get fed and she was just so relaxed. We were like poking her, trying to derobe her. And she's just like what? She wasn't even like whining or crying. So cute. I'm excited to have a baby like in the family now and like oh, yeah. very excited actually because you know it's just all of us adults like for christmas let's say right yeah. um it, it's just like us adults giving each other gifts and it's like yay you know you have it a little bit of spirit and it's exciting but when, but you, have, when you have a baby. when you have a baby yeah. in the mix or children it brings like joy the, yeah the excitement back in and it makes you like live vicariously through so them innocent. yeah and it brings like the little excitements of things so i'm excited to have um you know watch yeah. her grow and stuff like that well, i'm excited to be an uncle that's for sure yeah i'm tired right now guys so i may not seem excited but i'm excited holly hey, you're you're not the cute little yeah he is uh, like what am i trying to say you're not the you're bumped out now we got a real cute human no, he's never going to be bumped out. You're going to do cute things, you cute know, bumped <laughs> So now we're just going to relax. Well, um, after we left uh, Jim's brother's house, we went for sushi, like for dinner, but we didn't make quite a cheat meal. We still ate, like I still ate within my calories, although it's still uh, a lot of sodium. So I'm making sure to drink a lot of water. <laughs> Um, and I think I'm gonna make some tea uh, in a little while and I'm trying to convince him to watch a horror movie because it's Halloween weekend But Jim hates horror movies You Think I can convince him? Yes <laughs> I need to I need to watch a movie. That's a if, sp if one condition If by horror movie you mean a Vampire related or zombie. Those are the only the two zombie related or if that fails an Action movie with a little bit of scary in it Jim loves Ooh. Jim likes um, sci-fi. Oh, he likes or werewolves Jim, Jim likes sci-fi and the most scary he can get is vampires or or zombies because those or aren't that it's not really scary it's just more cool like stuff like I that like the genre. for me I like horror movies that have ghosts in them because that could actually happen you know That's silly. 
No, it could act, like to me it scares me because I can lock my door and you know if there's a killer on the loose like I'm not scared about movies with killers with a knife or a gun because I can lock my door and protect myself. I know but I'm what I'm saying is I can alarm systems and police and and locks and stuff like that could help me but I'm scared of ghosts that don't give a crap about your alarm system or your locked door because they can just go through the door. I get bitten by like, I don't know, not bitten, by pecked by some bird. Pecked? Pecked, yeah. And then I can contract this disease and it turns me into a, a zombie. Okay, I, I like, I like. I rip your arm off and I eat you in the middle of your sleep. I like zombie movies, vampire movies, um, yeah. virus movies. I like all kinds of sci-fi movies. I love it. But for Halloween, I want ghost movies that are going to scare the bejesus out of me. That's what I want. I want to watch Ouija. Let's do it. And I want to win the lottery, but it's just not in the cards. <laughs> okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you want a chance to win that beautiful bracelet, um, head over to my Instagram and for more details about how to enter. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Mwah.